I've asked the IFP the Member of Parliament, Health Mario Ambrosini, has been exploring an alternative treatment option for his stage 4 cancer diagnosed last year. He currently ingests cannabis oil capsules to help with the pain, nausea and loss of appetite associated with cancer. There is no funding for that. All the funding has been <clears throat> whenever you give money for cancer research, whether it's a, a jogging exercise or whatever it is, it all goes in the same direction to fund pharmaceutical research. Nobody will fund a study on somebody who has been, uh, has gone into remission through nutrition or through uh, alternative treatment. And that is a great anomaly. Ambrosini isn't alone. Dana Smirin was diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma five years ago. I ended up actually going through 12 rounds of chemo. The last two rounds of chemo I was hospitalized for about a month. They thought I wouldn't live because I had a very bad infection. I made it through and then as soon as I couldn't take any more chemo, I'd had my lifetime maximum of these types of chemos. So then they took a scan of me and it wasn't gone. Now Smirin has found relief in integrated medicine, including a cannabis-infused cream. With cannabidiols and all the different um, phytonutrients that are in here goes directly into the tumor mass. I also use a tincture, which is a cannabidiol, um, very high CBD, non-psychoactive ratio, which is working on my immune system to create the healing. And then some people, um, and I have done this at times, will use a very high concentrate oil, which is in this little pill. But is there room for such innovation in South African medicine? Some in the medical fraternity have given the idea their backing if proper research is conducted. If the idea is for us um, in South Africa, for the scientists, uh, for the medical profession to embark on um, well-coordinated research, to see if this would be able to help our patients in the various uh, number of diseases and illnesses that we have. I think it's the step, it's the step in the right direction. Patladira is cautioning against creating false hope though. Even though some of them might have uh, some uh, benefit uh, to various number of diseases, uh, but the reality of the situation is that um, they do have adverse effects. But lastly, what is also important is that we need to remember that there is what we call drug-to-drug -drug interaction. If you are taking um, a drug that is, um, might interact with what you are taking from what the conventional medicine, that might create a problem and might uh, cause harm to some of our patients. The Medical Innovation Bill will be debated in Parliament next month. No Leanne Janssen, Cape Town. Argument. Know more about your world. ENCA.com.